Real Life, Real Stories, Life Lessons with Esther Joseph. Good morning. Good morning, guys, or wherever you are in the world. It could be afternoon, evening. Good morning. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I send greetings to you guys. Um, today is um, June the 19th, 2021. Um, I just come on. Let's just quickly pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you all the glory, I give you the honor, I give you the adoration, I bless your holy name. Father, I thank you for a new day. Father God, I welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, speak through me, um, take over, let your will be done in today's message. And um, I invite you into this um, live video in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all the saints under the, under the sound of my voice, my brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, Holy Spirit, let your will be done. Father, I welcome you. I love you. And I give you all the glory, the adoration, the honor, the praises in Jesus mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Hi, guys. I greet you all in Jesus name. Um, today, I want to... Um, to ask us to um, pray for Uganda, the nation of Uganda, um, to pe petition heaven, like really intercessors, if I've got any intercessors following me or any intercessors that will come against this video, I let us pray for the nation of Uganda. Or if I have Ugandans actually following me, let us pray for our nation because... Um, the more the Holy Spirit speaks to me about this um, pestilent, man-made pestilent, um, I'm not going to say what it is because you guys should know now what it is. And if we do say what it is, your video gets taken down. So for me, I'm going to call it a man-made pestilence. In Psalms 91, it talks about um, the Lord will send his angels to um, protect us from any pestilence. Now, that's a promise from God and that's a promise to his children. That's if you've given your life to Christ. OK, so if you haven't given your life to Christ, you can go through all um, one of my other um, videos. There's the, the prayer of repentance and there's a prayer of um, the sinners to give your life to Christ. Praise God. So um, now um, Uganda, I've got family members ringing me and really panicking that, you know, this thing is taking out a lot of people, um, people are dying, relatives are dying. But guys, I'm just asking for us to pet petition heaven to repent on the sin, our sins for that nation, to repent on, on behalf of Uganda and go into the courts of heaven and pray. Yes, I am praying, but I'm asking. The Bible once again says in um, Matthew 18, 19, where two, and in Amos 3, 3, it says when two um, come into my presence and anything we ask in the name of Jesus and the power of two praying together, his will will be done. OK, there's power in agreement, guys. So if we touch and agree and we pray for the, our nation, the motherland, Uganda, the pillar of Africa, and we intercede and we say we repent, we have to repent on, on behalf of the nation. That is a must. Then after repentance, you um, put your petition to God, OK, in the courts of heaven. So if you guys kindly jo join me, I've been praying for Uganda. You can go back on my videos and see that I've been praying for Uganda from last year. But let let us do a new thing because also the Bible says, behold, um, um, Isaiah 43, um, 18 to 19, I'm doing a new thing. So yes, it looks negative in the natural, but in the spiritual realm, if we petition and pray, he will do a new thing in that, in that nation. So guys, I'm coming up on here and I'm asking us to pray. We, I've prayed for India. I've prayed for Nigeria. I've prayed for the US. I've prayed for even countries that you guys don't even know behind the scenes. So please, I'm asking you to join me to pray for the motherland, to pray for my motherland, to pray for Uganda. Uganda has so many um, goodness. Yeah, it, it's just, I started going to Uganda in my... Um, um, late 20s, like around around 28. 
and I just fell, I felt 27, I fell in love with my motherland. I fell, like all the stories that my mum used to tell me about Uganda. When I was an English kid, you're like, what, whatever, because you're seeing the TV, television. It's making you think that Africa's not good. But let me tell you, when I went there, I, I fell in love with Africa. I fell in love with Uganda and my grandparents made it more of a blessing to me, you know, and then I had two cousins as well, actually three cousins that made my journey even more of a blessing. I shout out my cousins as well. Um, Gloria, Katra, Diana, I love you guys so much. You made my time in Uganda so beautiful at my early stages, you know. So um, what am I saying, guys? Let's just intercede for Uganda. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for Uganda because what I've noticed is when I was young in this game, this, um, you know, this Christian game, this um, having a relationship with God, I had a spiritual mom and she used to always say to me to conquer is prayer and i used to look at this woman like what are you talking about but then when i when i started being personal a personal relationship with god prayer works guys prayer works i'm telling you if we can have a language of prayer we can change things on this earth through the power of the holy spirit so i am praying and i'm asking and i'm begging for us anything that comes up Yes, this video is for Uganda, but all nations, let's pray. You pray for your motherland, then you go on to all nations, yeah? But for me and my house, I have to pray for um, my motherland because my family are ringing me and they're scared. And we've been through it. UK has just been through it last year and the way they put that fear in you. And once again, the Bible says, um, First Timothy's, First Timothy's, or no, Second Timothy 1.17, no, 2 Timothy 1, seven. yeah? It says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind, guys, okay? God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. He hasn't, yeah? So please, if you're in touch with the Holy Ghost, if you're in touch with the Lord and you stand on his word, Father God, you said, say the word back to him, you will see changes in your land. You will see changes in your land. But once again, I'm not going to lie to you. These scriptures only work if you're a child of God. You can petition heaven only if he knows you as his child. So guys, for me and my house, I'm going to pray for the nation of Uganda. I love my nation. I love the, the motherland. I love it. I love Uganda and I cover Uganda in the precious blood of Jesus. I cover the people of Uganda in the precious blood of Jesus. And I ask the Lord right now to send his angels to intercede on that land and for those people. And I plead the blood of Jesus seven times over the nation of Uganda. I pray, Lord God, that you have mercy on us. I pray and I repent. On behalf of Uganda, Lord God, I repent of the blood that was shed just um, some time ago for the elections, Lord God. I repent of that blood that was shed. I repent for Ugandans and I repent, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on that country in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on the leaders. Have mercy on the things that are going on behind secret, um, behind the secret, Lord Jesus. You know what goes on behind secrets. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on those that come into the parliament and make decisions. Lord God. Have mercy, Lord Jesus, on those that are corrupt, Lord God, for their selfish reasons, Lord God. Have mercy on, on us, Lord Jesus, your people, Lord God, that know no wiser. Some of them, they, they, they haven't woken up yet, Lord God. Have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I petition heaven and I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to, to send your angels, Lord God, send your angels to war on us, for war on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. At this time, Lord God, we're not going to be silenced. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, that you will have your way with the nation of Uganda. I pray, Lord Jesus, for supernatural help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, you said in Psalms 91, if people will come and declare Psalms 91, I declare Psalms 91 over the nation of Uganda. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will hear us from heaven, Lord God. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that there will be a turnaround, that there will be a turnaround in the spiritual realm concerning Uganda and all nations. But today I'm speaking on behalf of Uganda. I pray for my loved ones in Uganda. I pray for um, the people, all the people, Lord God. I pray for the people. I pray 
and I pray, Lord Jesus, that your precious will, that we will have victory through prayer, through the power of the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, come and have your way in that nation. Let us see signs and wonders in the nation of Uganda. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And also, I will leave Isaiah 54, 17. It says, no weapon, you stand on this word, Uganda, no weapon can fashion fall against us. Stand on Isaiah 50, Isaiah 50. 4, 17. Stand on that word. No weapon. Because it's, it's, it's becoming a weapon all, o- all over the world. That pestilent. So we stand against that pestilent and say, no weapon fashion formed against Uganda shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, I've prayed for Nigeria. I've prayed for US. I've prayed for India. I've prayed for Palestine. I've prayed for uh, uh, Israel. The list goes on if you see my videos. So please join me too to pray for my motherland, Uganda, the pillar of Africa. I love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.